head into this one. Yeah, so this whole thing about the sheep, the sheep, Ryan Seymour, this the sheep story. Thank you for bringing the, thank you for bringing the sheep story. Um, this is wild. I'm looking at, I'm looking at this right here where these sheep are. T tell us, t tell the people about this right here. Cause I think it's a, it's a sign of the times. <laughs> Sign of the time, sheep walking in a circle. <laughs> and it's an interesting time when it started too. There's a, there's a sighting in China. And it's all over the, um, the internet right now. Where there's a... Like a herd of sheep walking in a perfect circle for two weeks now, straight. Um... The way it started, according to the owner from the article I read, is that on November 4th, a few sheep, so we're talking about three, four sheep, start walking in a perfect circle. And as they walk, more sheep join day by day. The way we have, uh, I could see probably, I would say, four or five dozen sheep walking in a circle or more. And there's sheep that has not walked in the circle that is standing there watching as well. Mm. So this started on November 4th. And if anybody listening know the, the significance of number 4th within the Rastafari community right now in the reggae scene, that's the day, uh, the date of Juan Benjamin's passing. So on the anniversary of Juan Benjamin's passing, we have sheep start to walk in a circle. Hmm. 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 And they're walking in a circle for two weeks straight with every day more sheep joining. Hmm. Now, while we were reasoning before, we were speaking about um, how we even got to the subject to bring this in is we were speaking about how it's easier to trick multiple people than it is to fool one person. And in that reason, the story of the sheep them came out because they say people are like sheep, you know, easily laid astray. So as you can see, a few started walking in circles and now we have dozens and dozens and dozens just walking in circle and nobody could say why mm. so this is you know it's a, like it's a mystic thing in a mystic time you know and i know there's some kind of explanation for this somebody might have it but we just you know having a you know like a vibe on this right now vibes in and this and the like reasoning that we just really just now start to pay attention to this after you know like i say like it's going up for two weeks now so if anybody paying attention check out the sheep walking in China circles for two weeks straight. By the time you see this, it might be even longer. They have video and they have stills. Mm, yeah, we had we actually show some of the stills here. Um, what's interesting is that you said it was on um, Post, the New York Post, right? I think yes. yeah, they, they had a story on there about, um, well, you said 12 days ago, but that was like from the 17th, the article. Okay was the 17th of November, 2022. But here I see, just looking at this recently, here I see uh, some nine news seven hours ago. They say, great mystery. Hundreds of sheep have been walking in circles for 12 days straight. Then uh, the Economic Times, also one day ago, the Economic Times, they say hundreds of sheep walk endlessly in circles in Northern China. Check out here. Then there's a 17 hours, the Indian press. So it's almost like this story is beginning to, I guess, the Post had this a little earlier on, but other news sites are just breaking it. Jerusalem, the Jerusalem Post, it says, why did a flock of sheep move in a circle continuously for two weeks? Now that's interesting there because that gives the impression that they're not doing the same thing, but they were doing this. Right, you know, that's like one day ago. Then the Tribune also is talking about walking clockwise. So that's another thing. When you mentioned it first, I was wondering, like, I wonder What's what ah uh, clockwise in circles for last twelve days in China bemuses onlookers. Right. So most of these stories here, it's like um, 
the New York Post story, I think it's three days ago. So what seems to be something that must have broke in China, right? And then some of the Western, you know, press started to get up on it. For example, look at the Miami. This is down in your neck of the woods, so to speak. The Miami Herald, it says aliens, question mark, cold, question mark. Like whether it's aliens, is it aliens behind this? Is it cold? It says hundreds of sheep walk in circles for days in China and no one knows why. You know, some say disturbing video. <laughs> they, they call it a disturbing video, right? New York Post, I see the article in Post, it says massive. Post seems to be the one from the most days ago. That seemed to be three days ago. So the story itself it seems to go back to like the fourth, but it's just breaking. You know, it seems to be just more and more breaking right here and different ones are talking about. But what I noticed, like I was explaining to the brother, I was explaining to you that why well, I noticed that when, okay, here it goes. It says, refine this search. So Google here, it says, sheep walking in circles explain. Some say sheep walking in circles apocalypse, you know, get some of either people looking at the Bible. But one was like saying, the oh yeah one was sheep walking in circles the bible so what we'd like to do is just look up some of the the different um one is the bible one is explain and one said meaning just to see if anybody got any meaning so here we have some site h-i-t-c two days ago biblical meaning of sheep as video of flock walking in circles terrifies what yo bro you heard that here on this article, HITC.com, don't know what that stands for yet. Two days ago, they say biblical meaning of sheep as video of flock walking in a circle terrifies. Keyword, terrifies the internet. Really? I could see how some of this could be disturbing mm. and terrifying to some people. Hmm. You have some people who... Uh, Remember, based on how you grew up in religion, right? And how much fear you as a, you have accepted as far as religious teachings. If you understand prophecy, and some of these fears are built inside of you, and you have seen some of the things that has happened in the past few years, I could see how some people are disturbed, how some people might be a little frightened. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, yep, yep. Some, uh, okay, uh, Reddit says some about hundreds of sheep have been walking around circles. Okay, that's the basic. But it says some have speculated the sheep's behavior could be caused by a bacterial disease called listeriosis. And it's also known as circling disease. You know, you know what they do? They, they take a word from Greek or Latin that just explains whatever's going on. <laughs> yes, and, 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 and. And, and, and call it a disease. Yeah, 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 yeah. Basically, in Latin or whatever, it says listeriosis means circle, circling disease. Okay, okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. But but that first article says sign of the apocalypse. Somebody's already on that. Sheep in Mongolia. Now they call it Mongolia. So northern China. Mo yeah, okay. Mongolia have been walking in a year. So let's go to the first one. Right, the first one here. Right. And it says trending. This is a trending. Biblical video, I mean, biblical meaning of sheep as, yeah, as terrifies internet. Let me just read just a portion of this. Viral, vi viral footage of a massive flock of sheep walking in a circle for multiple days in a row have resulted in people searching for its spiritual meaning in the Bible and other religious texts. Reportedly caught on a surveillance camera in China's Inner Mongolia region, the viral video has become subject to different theories on social media, one of which suspects a forthcoming apocalypse. While there is no explanation for this rather strange behavior, petrified people on the internet want to know what sheep mean in the Bible and if the video is some sort of a sign of unprecedented danger. I think so. I've been, I've been hearing people talk about some danger, you know, and, and looking at just what we're able to view. This is a very dangerous time because the consciousness or ah, the illusion, the illusion over the con. A lot of the woke folk have fallen back to sleep. 
You know, you know how the, how it goes. You know, like somebody wake you up, and 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 you get woke for a moment, and you say, "You up? You up?" And he's like, "I'm I'm I'm woke. I'm woke. I'm woke. I'm woke. I'm woke." Right? But then if if you don't get up, you know, you know, like when you wake up, you know, like you're laying down and you wake up, when you don't get up, you get it. See, you can become woke, but you're not awake. See, there's That's difference. When, earlier when we was reasoning, when I mentioned that we lost our library, which is our elders, you know, we don't have the, mm, good point. the ancient elders with the knowledge of, of the natural science of the art, you know, who know how to read the, the plants, the animals, the stars, you know, who can talk with dreams, you know, we don't have these... You know, we like you know, we like we don't live in a time where this is you know, like you know, like prevalent anymore. You know. Mm. And it was a time when that was prevalent when you could go to the elder and have a dream and they would talk with the dream for you or uh, certain things would go on on the land and they will tell you this is what happening and you know, so they would have these these knowledge of nature and we don't have these people to go to anymore because this is a sign. You know, the father tell us there are gonna be signs, signs and more signs and Mm. And everybody keep looking for, you know, something catastrophic to happen for a sign. But if you're going to send many signs, I mean, they're going to come in all farm, small, medium, big. You know, the size of a mustard seed, they're going to grow into something big. Mm. You know, all these things we have to think about when we say sign, signs and more signs. So the earth is magnetic. Mm. And we see the animals, them operate in a certain way they overstand certain things naturally that's going on and hot within the science of the earth that we as humans are not taking up on until it's too late for instance several years ago because i don't know if it's 10 15 years ago or more when they had that tsunami in indonesia the story is the majority of animals survived that tsunami. They say they had elephants tied up in chains. And mm. the elephants bust the chains and run up in the mountains. They say animals that was prey and hunter was running together. Mm. Mm. To safety. While the tourists was taking pictures and walking out <laughs> where the water used to be. <laughs> they so want to get covered, yeah. Mm -hmm. The animals, when the water sucked out into the ocean, the animals, in tune with nature and the science of how things work, saw the danger, they felt the danger, and they bumped. They made their way to safety. While the intelligent human beings have cameras and are walking out to where the water used to be, taking pictures with fishes, with, 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 with fish, excuse me, with the fishes thing, fish, <laughs> yeah. flapping on the ground, they're taking pictures. Now, growing up as children, we all was in a tub, a bad pan, or something with water as children, and we push the water. When you push the water, the water comes back. You push the water, the water comes back. Mm. When the water went out, they went out following the water like it wasn't coming back. When it came back, they start running like they shot. Mm. I, so, I, I, mm. being in tune with the science of art and the nature of art and the way things work naturally and, and understanding the energy of the art, the animals who are so-called not intelligent, According to some theories. But because we so intelligent. <laughs> according, <laughs> according to some theories. <laughs> you know, so these are things that we lost as people, as having these people with this kind of knowledge to share about the natural science of the way the art works. Mm. Not saying we don't have them at all. We just don't have them in abundance like we used to. Where it's not not, not easily up. not easily accessible. While you were saying that first time, I was about to say, but I didn't want to like 
you know, cut through on the important of the message, the importance yeah, of what right. you're saying. But um, not to add the levity to it, but just the reality, I think they might have an app for that, right? <laughs> There might be an app for that. In fact, the system. Right yeah, yeah, they may have an app for that. The Elder app. Anybody got the Elder app? Download the Elder app and ask the Elder app. You know, there's, there's actually a wisdom app that hit up Sister Mariama today. Be you till full if you check this out. But yeah, and also Brother Miguel as well, the King Man. Yeah, it was reasoning. She was letting me know she was on this wisdom app. Somebody invited her to this wisdom app. I was thinking about checking it out. I think I'm still going to check it out. Just haven't found the time yet. But just when you mentioned what you mentioned about the elders, it's almost like they're taking like ones and ones like ourselves who might have wisdom or been imparted, you know, some of the frequency, you know, <laughs> you know, some of the frequency and everything for the consciousness sake that we have become almost like or some of us in certain ways are like the elders today at the same time. But I know what you mean. Those elders in the community. That's when we had like community all that's been broken down we all have left the the country we left the pagan the pagan the paganas we left the countryside and we all became urban we all came to the cities you know to come under the god of the cities you know what i mean so we lost our natural our earth running ways you know what i'm saying so now when we see something like this happening albeit in the country in the paganas in the pagan part, when I say the pagan, I'm not talking about that religious, the, theological, catholical, or so Catholicism. I'm talking about just what the word means. The country and the city. I'm going to look at the difference. The country is what, you know, like the natural, the countryside is what the Almighty made. The city is where man can be a little mini God. Man can be a demiurge. You know, like... Well, like, in city, like in the city, basically... It fits the topic of what we're speaking about because when you leave the rural and come to the city, it's basically like the first two or three sheep that start to walk, everybody come and start to follow that sheep. So now we're walking in circles. Oh, yeah. I mean, like when you go someplace and everybody's like standing like they're standing online, you, you know, we just naturally sometimes naturally. will yes, stand behind somebody. Right. And then we ask, what is this line for, right? You know, like somebody will stand behind somebody else. They see people standing in like a row, like a line, and then they'll ask after they're standing there, like, well, what, what is this uh, line? You know what I mean? So they already will get in the following thing. They already will begin to follow and then ask, what are we following? You know what I'm saying? I experiment one time, right? Let me see if I get this right. There was a, um, a set of people sitting in a room. It's not like you come for an interview and you're sitting in this room and it, it was like, Suppose like 20, 25 people or something in it, like, like in this experiment. And I think it's like five people out of the 25 know about the experiment that's going on. So the other 20 people don't know. And it's not the same 20 people all the time. They're randomly putting people through different people to see the reactions, right? Mm. And what would happen is, is like, it's, it's set up as a, as like a job interview. So... Uh, they'd be waiting in a room and a buzzer would go off. And when the buzzer go off, the five people who are in the experiment, they would just stand up. Mm. And the rest of the people that would sit there and look and they'd look at them. And, you know, one or two people would get up, you know, and every other people would sit. <laughs> and they kept, they kept doing it. They kept doing it and kept doing it. And eventually, everybody would stand up when the buzzer went off. And nobody knew why they were standing up. The first five <laughs> people stood up every time. The first buzzer, they stood up. And every time the buzzer went off, those five people always stood up. And it triggered everybody else. Although they rotated people in and out the room, different people. Eventually, everybody always stood up when that buzzer went off after so many buzzers. Mm. And nobody knew why they were standing up. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's interesting. You, you know, I, I just want to share this. I want to share this right here on that. I just went back to, for those watching the Just Vibes and the vlog here as we Just Vibes, I went back to the little gif of them walking in circles. And I was thinking about, you know, as I was reasoning, I'm thinking about this whole sheep thing and even the article we went to, there's a lot of, like, different, like, kind of speculation. You know what I mean? You know, different theories and everything. There's one part I want to point out right here, but the main thing is this. Sheep, 
without a fill in the blank. Sheep without a shepherd. Ah, you know, the Bible has a verse in it. It says, and there and their shepherd is death. You ever came across that one? It, it has a I verse. Can. It's in one of the Psalms where it says, and their, like yeah, and their shepherd is death. You know what I mean? So some people are saying that sheep are like so spiritual. Right? I think this is a message on one level. This is a message to Christians, in a sense. Because look, look, look. And these are Josh sheep, right? Let's let's say, let's say, let's say, um, okay, let's put it like this. This is I'm gonna do like Christ did, or like like the Jesus in the Bible, Yeshua, Rabboni. We say Rabboni and I rabbi, but others say Jesus Christ, like like he did. L let me say this as a parable, as a as a kind of a metaphor. If these sheep belong to a master, right? It means that the master does not have anybody or the person he has doing the duty is not doing their duty. And so the sheep now has to lead themselves around. This is like the Christians. I really believe this is about Christians. I, I, somebody sent me something I was watching after the podcast last night. And I guess it's disturbing to some, but I, I view it as like all the poisons that lurk in the mud, let them hatch out. Something I got from I, Claudius, some old Roman stuff. But he said, let all the poisons that lurk in the mud hatch out. It was this Roman ruler that was trying to keep everything going right. He was trying to improve the Roman Empire, but everything he was doing was getting frustrated by his in-laws, his ratchet relatives and everything. And then when he finally got to be emperor, he just got frustrated. He was like, he said, let all the poisons that lurk in the mud hatch out. That means I've been trying to get rid of the poisons in the mud. You know what I mean? I've been trying to improve things, but now just let everything go, let everything go chaos. You know what I mean? And yeah. this reminds me of this situation here because... It's a sheep leading themselves. Where my question is, where is the shepherd? And well, and, and next question is, who is the shepherd? Maybe that's be my first question. Who is the shepherd? Where is he? You know what I mean? Like, or, or she? Where is the shepherd? Because sheep cannot be doing this unless they don't have no shepherd, unless they're leading themselves. And and they're trying the best they're doing. They're doing a perfect circle. Maybe it is some type of disease. Maybe it is something such and such. But we're looking at this as a metaphor. This reminds me of Christians today because I was listen, listening to something and seeing these people are conscious and woke and all of that. And they were still talking about God, Jesus is coming back and he's going to crack the sky and they're looking to see something up in the sky. And I'm thinking about Project Bluebeam. I'm thinking about Project, you hear about Project Bluebeam where they are getting these satellites, these mirrors, these technology where they're going to make things appear to be. They're going to they're gonna create illusion and delusion and everything. <laughs> And this reminded me, I would listen to this, I said, wait, I said, people still believe this, that God, is, even some of the Israelites and some Israelites might say, yes, that's what's there. And I say, you believe that if you were Israelite, if you believe that it's because you was believing that when you still was in the, the counterfeit Christian church. When you was in the counterfeit Christian church, you believe that now you know you're an Israelite and, and you think that the white man only has so-called whitewashed the pictures. So you change all the pictures, all the imagery up, but you're still reading the Bible, seeing the people as black, but still reading the, the doctrine or, or the teaching as whack. Because this, this here I see as a message to the Christians, mainly, because this metaphor is exclusively, I would say, Christian. And when I say Christian at the first level, and then beyond that is Jewish or Hebrew or Israelite, the whole Old Testament thing, right? This is basically a Christian thing. It's a, we can say Abrahamic faith thing. I say that because other people know about sheep, but I don't see them using this as a metaphor as the Christian Bible does and as the Tanakh or the Jewish, the Hebrew Bible does. You know what I'm saying? The Hebrew right. Bible and then after it, the so-called Christian Bible, so-called because Jesus was a Jew. People don't like to say that. They say he was. I get what you're saying. He was not a Jew like Jew, Jew, but he was a Jew like me and you, you know what I'm saying? Speaking to my fellow Yehudi, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so this whole thing is about the shepherd. Come say, th this is the point. Where's the shepherd? People are talking about the sheep, but they're not talking about the shepherd. Where's the shepherd? So these sheep won't run around for 12 days in a circle. What is the shepherd? Has the shepherd even tried? Where's the shepherd? 
The sheep are leading themselves, and this is why I see among a lot of black Christians later on, a lot of woke, faux woke black Christians. They know about black, they can tell you about some black people, maybe they think was in the Bible, or a few people was black, maybe they accept us as Israelites in the Hebrew Bible, black people, maybe they don't accept that. But you know, all these conscious folks, their doctrine, what they're expecting to happen is still the same whitewashing. It's almost like they can change a picture. They can change the cover on the book, but the book basically remains the same. And, and not that the, that the book remains the same, the way they've been taught to misinterpret the book remains the same. Because the, the thing I saw right here, just to share this really, really quickly right here, it's on the page that I went to the HITC site. And this is a quote that people are seeing on the screen right here. It says, this is God showcasing Somebody says right here, let me just bring this down Yeah, Somebody says, this is God showcasing what it means to be sheep-like. One started walking in a circle and most were too stupid to stop. Some did and then got right back to walking with the group. You see how this is a metaphor for people? But see, even once again, I'm not saying the sheep are stupid. The sheep are, are innocent, humble, and they're simple in a sense. Sheep are not stupid in a sense, but when we apply this metaphor to people, it shows how people can be stupid, right? Because well, people are not... Look at it, because <laughs> when you look at the, 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 the sheep circling, right? Mm. If you look on the peripheral, you can see there's other sheep just sitting there watching them like, what is the what y'all doing? I think they're waiting for the shepherd. But here's my question again. Where is the shepherd? Sheep walking in a, in a circle, dot, dot, dot. The shepherd dot. is the one taking the video. Yeah, but wait, uh, it actually, it brings out the owner of the sheep in the next, in the next paragraph. They say possible scientific explanation, but, but check this out. It says some did walk in the, stop walking and then they got right back in line. They got back to walking with the group. Some are even excited and jump <laughs> <laughs> to walk in a circle for 12 days. Read another one. I like what that person said right there because that, that right there brought out as i was listening to the eye i was scrolling over it and listening and then i said where's the shepherd where's the shepherd it's like right now where's the shepherd and here's the thing about christians who are might might refer to themselves as sheep because of the bible theology and their and their and their overzealous religious belief but it, it shocked me when i heard these it was actually some black woman i, I can understand what some of the hebrews like say about um, even some, some black men are like some black woman who I think that they should not usurp authority over the man. For example, I don't usurp authority over a woman. For example, if it's midwives, for example, and my wife is bearing and bringing forth a child or any woman bring forth a child for me and there's midwives there, let the midwives call for the midwives. You know what I'm saying? That's their authority. You know what I mean? But when I heard these women explain some biblical things about the return of Jesus and they're talking about we're not there yet. Like, like we're not there. They were talking about this guy. There's this guy that called himself, I, th I think he's, um, what they call it, um, Clubhouse or Clubhouse Christ. You know, there'd be people who call themselves Christ, they're the Messiah, they're this, they're that. You know, you know what I'm saying? You, you know, we was warned about that. But they're so incensed against him because he got a couple of people following him. Or maybe he has many people. Maybe he has a couple of tens, maybe he got a couple of hundreds, maybe he got a couple of thousands. And they figured that they can't keep quiet because they want to call out this black guy or these black guys as antichrist because these black guys are saying like well well they are christ right <laughs> then that made me think about well what does christian mean <laughs> you know you, you know what does christian mean people say it means follower of of christ well not not really in that sense it basically means little christ a lot of people try to argue that point some people try to tell you that christian means follower of christ in a figurative sense but literally it means little christ it was a term of derision it was a term of mocking it was in a term of you know why because the early christians when they came up to any early christian and they said to early christian you know the other people who were idol worshipers or worshiping other gods or whatever they were worshiping whenever they came up to a christian and they asked one, or Nazarene, a Nazarene, who's a follower of Yeshua of Nazareth. Nazarene, get it? Nazarene, Yeshua of Nazareth. That they said, um, where is your, 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 your Christ? I heard he was crucified. I mean, where is he? 
a real Naz a real disciple or one who is truly you could say a follower right they would say that Christ is in them that Christ is in them that's why when 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 the Messiah says if they say he's in some secret chamber he's in the wilderness don't go out there don't believe them you know what I mean because you should know that Christ is in you you know what I mean Christ is in you. well a lot of people don't recognize that a lot of those prophecies that Christ spoke about they were fulfilled even in his time, there were other prophecies that was to be fulfilled after that, that generation. But remember he says that this generation will not pass away. You know what I mean? Until these things come to pass. Stop for a moment. What, what does generation mean? Are we still that generation of Jesus Christ from 2,000 years ago? <laughs> and there's something you said that people need to always know that the Nazarenes was the true followers of Christ. That's what they call themselves before these yeah. other people mock them because every time they ran into exactly. a, a real Christian, it's like, well, it, go ahead. What I'm saying is certain people have, you know, certain things to say about the Nazarenes that is not flattering, right? That's not kosher, yeah. <laughs> and what they need to realize is that anything you say against the Nazarene, you're saying against the Messiah because he's one of them. True, 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 true. You know, it's like Rastafari. One time, I remember somebody asked me, oh, Haile Selassie, this, that, and the next thing. You know the things that the naysayers say. You know, they hearsay, that forms a heresy, right, that they say. And one asked me, well, where is, like, almost like Rasta, where is your God? And you know what my response was? After studying the teaching of His Majesty and even the scripts, to that extent I studied then, I said, he's in me. I said, when you see, when you see me, you see His Majesty. Boom. But you know what? At one time, that was the Rasta, that was the call, chosen, and faithful Rastafari answer. Boom. But that's, but that's, that's going into what, what this emperor spoke about because my sabbatical post is speaking about that. He mm. said, in all creation, man is the highest level. So what form would, would, would God Amlak take? He couldn't take the form of a bird or a stone. The highest form he could take must be in the form of a man. So if you can see God Amlak in man, that's the highest reality that you can see God walking in because man does everything in the earth. Mm, Rastafari, mm. Rasta right, yeah. Well, that's a post from... From Gormawi Nugusa Neges, John Hoy? Aye. Aye, 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 aye. Yes, yes, yes. We need to, maybe we need to just vibes on that. But, but boom, there you have it. So when I heard this, this was just last, last night, this morning, into this morning, I was checking out a couple of videos and a couple of, you know, black sisters who are Christian. And it seemed like they're, they're like every other black people, you know, like, you know. But now, because one black man is is preaching some questionable doctrine, let me put it like that. You know, I don't agree with it because he tried to say some things about His Majesty in another video, and 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 but he but he was promoting Ethiopia and Teudros. His thing was Tedros, Teudros. You know what I mean? Not His Majesty. He said that Teudros was the Messiah, and that His Majesty is not Christ because he never said that. Blah 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 blah. But I noticed that most of the people on the page they kind of. You know, I, I dropped a few words of, 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 of wisdom right there. But when I, when I caught those who were naysaying what he was saying and what they were believing about Christ, and now you bring this video about the sheep walking in circles. <laughs> you, you get it. I can tell by the eyes, the eyes Yitzhak, Yitzhak. I can tell by the eyes Isaac, the eyes laughter. <laughs> that the eye get, the eye get what's I going right there. I'm like, boom. I say, you see it there because they're still walking around in the same old circles. Like one woman was saying that we're not there yet. He said, when, when Jesus or whatever is coming before Jesus come, it's going to be chaos. And we're not there yet. I'm like, what? I said, well, I said, huh? We're not at a point of chaos. You see, people are in their illusions, their delusions. You know what I'm saying? It's like having every prisoner in its own cell. You know what I mean? And, and, and you paint on the walls, the beach, the sunrise, sunset. You know, you paint all, all these pretty pictures on the wall. And you, you give them some, some they, they, they're high. 
and they're thinking that they actually are there. But really, when they look over it, the same prison bars are there. But they don't look at the prison bars, you know what I'm saying? They don't look yeah. at the prison bars. <laughs> Uh, pretty picture. Exactly. Where you can see the horizon on the on the picture that's painted on the wall, but in the jail you don't see no horizon. You, you don't you don't see no horizon. So this seems like a message, you know, if people want to interpret it, it's a message to, to the Christians that where is your shepherd? Where is your shepherd? See, because if you have a shepherd, then the shepherd is not just gonna run in front of the sheep and the sh and the sheep follow. That's not how sheep operate. But the shepherd will create conditions, you know, like with the, she the, with, with the German shepherd or the dog, you know what I mean? The sheep dog or whatnot. He creates conditions. And, you know, the shepherd follows the sheep. Is that true? Or, or that, that, that misunderstand that? The shepherd, in a sense, tends to follow the sheep. Because, like, like try to guide the sheep from, from more the rear. Because if, you, if, the sheep, if the shepherd go in front of the sheep, the sheep, yeah, the sheep might go another way, but try to follow them. It can lead them, but kind of, you know, you got to lead them, you know. Yeah, but there's a shepherd there. The point is, I don't see one, I don't see one shepherd among shepherd those sheep. The, the, exactly. But now here's what happens. You have lost sheep. You got some sheep that are going to just do their own thing. You know what I mean? If, if, if you allow a sheep to, the sheep is going to do their own thing. You know, but, and, not only, but, but not only that too, no. Like you're saying, it's a message to the Christians, right? And think about this. You're asking, where is the shepherd? That's, that is probably not the right question. Mm. What's the question? What, what, what would you say the right question is? <laughs> not, they know where the shepherd was because they was not always walking in circles. Remember he said, no, a few of them started walking in circles and the others followed. Oh, they followed the so other it's sheep. Not that we, it's not that the shepherd went nowhere. It's they decided to follow this other crew, which is a false doctrine. Ah. And with this false doctrine now, you are continuously walking in a strap of a circle. You can't get out of this circle now. You've been walking in this circle for two weeks. We've been in false, false doctrine for 2,000 years. Mmm, two sevens, clash. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, <laughs> now that we use and that, you know, the father said, no, the father tell me, wait, 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 what? It's not my fault. Uh, culture. The father, the father tell me, no. Uh, it's not me. I am the shepherd and it's not me. I ain't went nowhere. I still live right here, so because both are right now. And the phone reasoning, and you are, you all know you are shepherd. You all ain't went astray. Mm. So it is not me. It is them who decide to follow the false doctrine. Mm. And left to themselves, like left to and themselves. Left to themselves. So now mm. they're in a perpetual circle. Can't get out because there is no direction. Mm. And they're walking in a perfect circle. Mm. A perfect circle they're working in. You know? That that's a good one there for, for what you said for two for two for two millennia. For two thousand yes. years. For two millennia. That 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 I think mean, that's the best that's a perfect metaphor not not just a metaphor but a, a bringing out of the meaning that we're able to discern right here because on the next part it talk about the scientific explanation. And here's a brought something that you brought up. Um, New York Post reports the owner of the sheep, Miss Ms. Meow, 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 Mayo, Meow, I guess, claimed that they started walking in a circle on November 4th. So Ms. Mayo, who is the owner, notice, no, notice the language. Because the owner of the sheep is not necessarily the shepherd. Exactly. You know, like you own sheep, you own this, you own that. You have people, you know, hopefully that can do for them. The, the state-run, the, the, the Chinese state-run outlet, People's Daily, shared a tweet that they are healthy, quote, end quote. <laughs> that they are healthy. You know, um, it says, of 34 sheep pens on the farm, the ones belonging to number 13 
have been behaving in an unexplainable manner. <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> of 34, 34 sheep pens on the farm, the ones belonging to number 13 have been behaving in an unexplainable manner. You know, and that's interesting because there was Christ, right? There was the Messiah, Yeshua, right? And there was how many disciples? Twelve, right? Disciples. And so, that, yeah, it was thirteen. And notice that it takes it takes uh, twelve marbles in sacred geometry and science. Twelve marbles of equal size to hide the thirteenth. So that, that that brings out even more, right? The they say there's no explanation in the Bible for sheep walking in circles, right? <laughs> but there's an explanation, right, in the Bible of how it is supposed to be and what happens when it's not the way it's supposed to be. So it, it goes back once again, you know, to the to the shepherd, right? Or to the, why well, well, I say to the shepherd, because still the shepherd, okay, if these are your sheep, and you see them walking in a circle day one, right? And you leave them, because you're like, this is just amazing, right? And the next day they're walking, how many days if they're your sheep, and you are their shepherd? How many days are you going to, it doesn't say that they tried to get them stopped to walk well, in a circle. We have to look at the, 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 the time and age we're in right now. The age of time of social media and 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 clickbaits and getting paid for videos and if mm. you're thinking like that and that happening on your farm, that might be something you set up a camera for and let it ride as much as you can and try to get a little publicity and a little fame out of it. So you're saying that if we didn't have this um this world, this the this, this if we was in the times that we're in <laughs> Maybe one would not like clickbaiting and, and social media. Maybe one would be more um, proactive, in other words. Yeah, they might have waited a couple of days just to see what's going on, but for two weeks? Do you think, just as a... Sh making money off of this already? That's what I'm trying to ask. Do you think that these, these, these sheep could be encouraged to stop walking in the circle by people who were responsible? You know, you know by a shepherd and, you know, that they could stop this. Uh, or you think there's something like supernatural? I, I'm, I'm just we just reasoning. If, if, if there's something supernatural going on, you have to get in the way and stay there because as soon as you move, they're gonna go back to doing it. Yeah, and the more they do it, it's like the more they're gonna do it. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Because they said that the only possible explanation for this pattern of movement is listeriosis or the circling disease, an illness caused by bacteria. That's all they say. Well, you can't tell me <laughs> that it has a thing called circling disease because it's circling <laughs> and in the next breath tell me the health. Which one is it? Is it healthy or is it got disease? It can't be healthy with a disease. There's no such thing as healthy with a disease. Well, the Chinese say that they're healthy, but but people who are trying to give a scientific Yeah, well, that's why they say they have a disease and then your disease can't do circular disease. You got to call me something better than that. <laughs> You making me feel like you come up with this after you found out about this all clip. <laughs> oh, wow, 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 wow. Wait, 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 what's this? Oh, oh, that, that Shaquilla, Shaquilla Robinson, that story about the black, um, the black um, young woman who got um, killed slash murdered, set up and murdered in Mexico. There's a GoFundMe and they say Ky Kyrie Irving. He makes top donation worth sixty-five thousand dollars, and they had that at the bottom, the bottom of this particular story right here, you know. And this was on right. just just to heal them up. I don't know H I H I T C. Don't know what they're about, but H I T C, you know, that's on H I T C. And yeah, this is an interesting, very very interesting story, you know what I mean? Um, but everybody's running around now trying to solve, you know the sheep walking in circles dilemma and they say sheep is viewed as a highly spiritual being in the Bible. Stop, stop, stop that. No, no. Will, will people stop this? Will people stop this? No, the sheep is not a highly... They, 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 they said, they didn't say in a spiritual way or whatever, but they say highly. The sheep is viewed as a highly spiritual being. In the, so what about the lion of the tribe of Judah? 
as, as a sheep is highly. <laughs> now there's a lamb. It's, it's a lamb it, right. There's a lamb, but it says used as a metaphor. They are apparently treated as the followers of Christ, right, or God's people. Now this is this is interesting because we also have what's been going on with with um, we the black Jews and other Hebrews and Israelites, you know, regarding another set of people that call themselves the chosen people. You know what I'm saying? In a sense, they're going in circles of all this, this, um, you know, anti this and anti that behavior. You know, so on one hand, we have the whole anti so-called, you know, the Christ and anti-Christ thing. You know what I mean? Then we have this whole Semitic reasoning and this anti-Semitic reasoning. And notice that the sheep is a metaphor for both the Christians and Jews. Yes. And it seems as though in the news, both of these groups have a lot to do with what's going on right now. Because think about it, it's only in the Christian and Jewish books, mainly, that they purport to give us how things are going to be before they become. You, you follow what I'm saying? Other books have prophecies, but they're not quite the prophecies of the, of, of, of the Old Testament, the Hebrew Bible, and the Christian Bible. And that means the, the Israelites and the Jews, we could say, so to speak, of the Old Testament and the Christians of the New Testament, they both share this sheep, this sheep thing. So we can apply the sheep metaphor because it, that's an important metaphor both for the Christians and Jews. And recently, it seems as though they both have been going in circles. One for 2,000 years. <laughs> and the other for almost 2,000 years too. <laughs> Let's put, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But nobody is, nobody is speaking it like that. He says those innocent creatures have been portrayed in a number of biblical stories in different forms. Those innocent creatures. But see, the sheep are creatures that, how can I say? Um, like when Christ says, my sheep. You, you, heard, you heard what I said? He said, my sheep. He didn't say the sheep. Yes. He, he, boy, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm adding the word my. I thought I remember him reading that the Christ in the Bible says, my sheep. My sheep know my voice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I remember. That's a good point you made about instead of following the shepherd, <laughs> they're following each other. <laughs> that's why I was doctrine. But he says, so when the shepherd speaks, if you're not of my sheep, what, what Yeshua says, you're not going to hear his voice. Oh, because you already tuned them out. Yeah, yeah, because you might be following the Christians. You follow Christianity. Yeah, you already tuned them out, so if you tune them out, like you can't hear him. Like he'd be right next to you, you wouldn't hear him because he's tuned out. You know, that's an interesting thing too, because most Christians, most Christians, especially black Christians, they're concerned about the end time stuff, when Jesus is coming, when he's going to crack the sky and come back, right? But they're not on, and they'll focus on those verses, like, like you can get into a reasoning with Christians and they'll focus on those verses there, you know, like like revelations or the second coming, like Matthew quotes or whatever else. Like, I see I see a video today, right? And there was something said in this video that was so on spot, right? That we as people have took up a you should say a, a elite talking point where it hinders us in these times because mm. the elite are always talking about the future, right? Because they right no good. Mm, that's the point. So if you're right no good, you can always be talking about the future. But if you're right no ain't good, why are you always concerned about the future when you, you're right no ain't good? Yeah, you too focus on right now. You, you need to focus on right now, mm. right now, and stop focusing on the future because you right now is not good. The people who right now good, it's like they escapism. Focus on the future because they right now good. Mm. It's like escapism. Right mm -hmm. good, don't worry about the future because if you in take care right now, your future gonna be just like right now. <laughs> mm. It's like escapism. It's it's like delusion. It's like illusion. You're not living in in consciousness. You you are like unconscious to right now. You're yes. unconscious of right now, but you're trying to be conscious of the future that may or basically may not, or maybe has not come, right? So you keep going round and round in the same circle. <laughs> Walk the circle of the sheep again. You know, like, 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 wow, that's it.
That's wild right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a good point, that elitism. If you're good now, then you're going to be thinking, well, I'll be good tomorrow. How will it be for me tomorrow? But if you're not good now, right, and you're conscious, you're going to be focusing on right now. Right now. You know, and only you're going to only focus on the future as it pertains to right now. Right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not going to go too far. Like, maybe I'll think about tomorrow because, you know, what well, I got to do tomorrow or maybe the day after. But, like, somebody said, what are you going to do in 15 weeks? What? <laughs> 15 weeks. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. You know, because, yeah, yeah, that, that it's a consciousness thing. Because looking at the sheep's consciousness, the sheep are very, they have a very simple consciousness. You know what I mean? They are innocent as far as, we could say, animals go, right? But they have a basic, a basic consciousness. Like, for example, Bible Meanings explains this, a, a site called Bible Meaning. The signification, signification of a sheep is good. And the signification of a she-goat is the good of truth and they said something like ac 39 95 4006 i don't know what that is but it says by simply by good simply so called is meant the good of the will but by the good of truth is meant the good of the understanding that's interesting it's breaking down the difference between the sheep and the she goat notice the we said the she goat you know what i mean it says that by good, simply so called is meant the good of the will. So the sheep is good as far as the good of the will. In other words, they they are willing that good things happen. Right? Not that they can make them happen, but they, they're inclined to the good. They're looking for the good. They're not thinking no other kind of stuff. But by the good of truth is meant the good of the understanding. You know what I mean? The good of the understanding. That's what it says. However, the act of sheep walking in circles is not explained in any religious context, although it is, it has a possible scientific explanation. So it seems as though a lot of people looking at this story are getting frustrated because they're looking up and down in their Bibles for a verse or a passage that speaks right. about sheep walking in circles. And therefore, because they can't see, see, they are sheep. They have good of will. They're willing to find something good as to what, for, you know, the sheep walking in circles. But they're not like the sheep goat. They don't have the good of truth, which means the good of the understanding. Could the good of the understanding will say, wait, Christians, if we are the sheep, right, we got to check ourselves that we're not these sheep walking in circles. Where's our shepherd? How, how come? See, and because we are human beings using the metaphor of sheep. We are more than just sheep. You know what I'm saying? We are to be innocent in the context of the good of the will, but to have understanding, <laughs> right? To follow the shepherd. See, we're different than regular sheep. Regular sheep, the shepherd has to be engaged and the shepherd is all about what the shepherd do does. But we as human beings or as Christians, or as believers from that context, we have to have the good of understanding. You know, we can't be following the next Christian sheep you know what I'm saying? Right. Because the next Christian sheep is a sheep like you're a sheep. Or the next the next Jewish sheep is a sheep like or Israelite, Hebrew. Like even the Hebrew Israelites are on that level too because the same sheep motif applies to them too. So even us as Rastafari got to say, oh, okay, hold up. Now we say, of course, Rastafari, right? The lion of Judah. You know what I mean? But yet the lion and the lamb, <laughs> right? I read they lay down together. You know what I mean? So that means we have that, 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 or should have that good of will. Like make our wills, as his majesty teach us, make our wills obedient to good influence. And to avoid evil is to show the greatest wisdom. In order to follow this aim, one must be guided. Now the translator says by religion, we say by living faith. Right? Living, admitting in the truth, admitting in the, in the good and the good of truth. Not the good of will, because somebody might be like, how can I say? I might see you getting beat down, right? I, I, I know it's not good and, and I don't will that that happens to you. But I might not understand in the sense of the good of truth what I can do about it. Or I might be weak. 
to do anything about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I, I'm not cheering it on. I'm sad at what's happening to you, but because I don't have the good of truth and therefore the good of understanding. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I don't know what I can do. In other words, remember what he says, the master says, um, to make our wills obedient. What does what the master says? To make our wills obedient. So you could be a sheep and have the good of the will. You have a good will, so you have good will to all. You want the good for, you even pray for your enemies and you want the best for the enemies. Okay, that's, that's great. But to make our wills obedient to good influences and to avoid evil. So that means that you can, you can have a good of will, but you can get caught up in evil. Yeah. You don't know how to avoid evil because you don't understand. You remember the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, discernment between this and that? <laughs> That's why you say, like, some of the sheep are on the side, <laughs> right? Some of them are on the side looking at this, but then some drop out, drop off of the line. <laughs> and then they look at the few on the side and say, y'all are few. Look at all these other ones that are going in a circle. They must be going the right way. Discernment is the key. Discernment is a key. So could we say that those 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 sheep that are on the side, they might even as simple creatures, living creatures and sheep, they might have a better discernment. <laughs> yes, that's why I tell you. Look at some of them and they say, looking at the rest of them, like, what is wrong with y'all? No, this we know fourteen days is a big difference than fourteen minutes. But even if these sheep had get videotaped walking in a perfect circle mm. for 14 minutes, that would still be an astonishing thing to see. Mm. Even if it was just 14 minutes, because they're walking in a perfect circle. And they've been just doing this for that days. For 14 minutes would be astonishing. Wait, wait. Have they said for 14 that, days? Wait, that mean day and night? Day and night, they ain't stopped for 14 days. They're going to kill themselves, man. They're not going to be healthy. That can't be healthy. You know what I'm saying? But, so, <laughs> see, but, we have, but, the, but we have to look bigger than that because if, it, because if, it, because if this is the work of prophecy, they don't need to eat. Just feed them. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> 14 days? That's like and a, I said 14 minutes would be astonishing for this for 14 minutes. They do this for 14 days. That's like some Wall of Jericho thing. Ah. Uh, that's all I was thinking about. The Wall of Jericho. You don't know how the Israelites were supposed to go around the walls. You know what I mean? That's interesting. This has been going on as long as this Kyrie and, and Kanye thing has been going on too. But, but, but if I don't make sure that the world see this. Mmm. This happened in a in some far away discreet place and hotel. Yeah. Where this happened at, you cannot ask anybody and art really who in study geography to that type of point uh, live in them areas to read that story and hear what part of China that was and point it out on a map. Hmm. People don't know where this place is at. Mm. We didn't have to know about this. This could have happened and nobody ever find out. Yeah, or, 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 we all know about this now. We were meant to know about this. We were meant to see this. And to we see were it meant too. To see this sign. You had to see it too because somebody could tell you about this and you could deny. You know, you could say, exactly. unless you see it for yourself. And then it's like, yeah, it is a perfect circle. I mean, even that circle, I'm looking at the circle. That circle looks like really, really perfect. It's a perfect circle they're walking into. No, 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 no. It's, it's like, what's that, a sinkhole? <laughs> Are they going to find something else? Like the other day, you mentioned about you know, finding underground, some underground ancient cities and trees and yeah, a whole echo. Yeah, ecological system, and, this, and, and that's in China again? What is China? You know, the Far East. The Far East, huh? What does the Bible say about China in prophecy? 
That's a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this, this is, this is a story right here. This is because nobody's really talking about this. I think this, this here actually, this here actually um, speaks directly to the time that we're living in. You know, this actually speaks. It says, "What does it mean, sheep walking in circles?" Um, they try to say the disease. I'm looking at some of the, some of the, um, the the manual also states that this disease can uh, can infect many animals, right? They they actually saying that that the mer the merc, oh you, you you hear the name merc? Don't they make drugs? The merc, M E R C K veterinary manual states that the circling disease can cause the infected animals to lean against stationary objects, propel themselves into corners, or circle toward the affected side. The manual also states that this disease can infect many animals. Now, since man is a type of an animal, <laughs> you, you can I, see... Boy, you read my mind. I just about to say, listen. <laughs> we as humans have a circling disease of our own. Going round and round. Going round and round. <laughs> Going round and round. Round and round. Yeah. We're talking about China, right? We just mentioned, okay, the, the, the sheep circle in China, we mentioned the same code with the ecological system that we actually going on in China, right? Mm. Another thing I could add to this circling, we we'll call it the, the word again, what is it? Um, like the disease. Oh, listeria? yeah, I'm, I'm listeriosis. Yeah, listeriosis. listeriosis. Yeah. Okay, listeriosis. <laughs> Again, China lose this thing they call TikTok, right? Oh, wow. In China, wow. TikTok in China is used differently than it's used everywhere outside of China. Inside China, it is illegal to use TikTok for anything that is not educational. So if you ain't trying to show somebody how to do something, teach something, if it's not something that is that is beneficial to society, you wow. cannot put it on TikTok in China. It is illegal. But what China released to the world is what we see TikTok doing, where people on TikTok doing all kind of craziness. That has nothing to do with productive society functions. Granted, you do have certain people out there who are using it for that platform so i don't want to have to say well look at me i out here i acknowledge that y'all are out there i see your stuff i like and comment once in a while on some of the stuff that y'all put out there because i see some of it and i appreciate you know you know the soldiers out there on different platforms who are pushing positive messages on each of these platforms you true, know true. you know like we all are one circle one group spiritually collected doing these works out there so we acknowledge that we are out here so but the majority of things that's going on on TikTok is not conducive to a productive society. And that is what China has loosed to the world for TikTok to, to, to be about when it's illegal in China for that type of behavior on TikTok to take place. So now, once that was loose, now we have another circling of the sheep again. Because look, once something busts on TikTok, how much sheep you see doing the same thing? Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. The circle. Circling the sheep again. Round and round. Same round and round. Yeah, yeah. Same. Ra that, that's interesting. TikTok. That, that's that's. Wow. That in China, when it was created, it was created as an educational means. And it's still that way to this day. But as the the version released to the world, is for whatever uckery, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Whatever's popping, whatever's popping, you know. Yes, whatever they want to put out there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, that that that's an interesting note right there. TikTok. Yeah, because that has become like yeah, it becomes this this viral viral nonsense. Like in a virus, doesn't a virus go around? Doesn't a virus? I mean, looking now at some of the scientific aspect, while still keeping the Bible and and the religious or the interpretation aspect in mind. It's like, yeah, it's like a disease going around and around. But, and, but you know, just making a circle in a sense is not bad. Like, look, look, I'm looking at the thing on the screen. It says, why do sheep or what do sheep symbolize in the Bible? It says sheep are the followers of Christ. Now, 
some of y'all know I like to do this sometimes. I, I look at this and I was meditating it while the brother's speaking and when I just went to this, this um, these like these questions, you know, the question that come up on Google. Um, I would say some sheep are the followers of Christ, right? Some sheep, in other words, the sheep and the goat thing is like the goats are going to do what they're going to do, right? And sheep are a little more docile, a little more suggestive, you know, are more innocent in that sense, right? But remember, he says, my sheep. Remember? He says, yeah. my sheep, right? And it says, while goats do not choose not to follow Christ, well, according to the parable, according to what is, you know, is based on the difference in the behavior of sheep and goat. Sheep are gentle, quiet, innocent animals, right? And it was, remember Lot and Abraham? Lot and Abraham both are called righteous. You know, Lot and Abraham are both righteous. So what's the difference? Well, Abraham is a active righteous man, while Lot is a passive righteous man. It's almost like, you know, like, like you the gangster, you go out there, you do the stuff, right? I just ride along with you. I don't really do it. But, but, but I get associated with you, even though I'm not the real doer <laughs> in that sense. So in the sense of using the righteous as a metaphor for the sheep, right? Some sh the sheep are gentle, quiet, and innocent animals. You know what I mean? But not all of the sheep are the same kind of sheep because he says, my sheep. The sheep generally do not give their shepherds a lot of problems. Uh-oh. The sheep generally do not give their shepherds a lot of problems. That's true. Now, remember he said, my sheep. He didn't say your sheep. He didn't say my sheep. He said his sheep. You know, uh, then it has another question. Another question. What does Jesus or Yeshua say about his sheep? Let's underline that his sheep. He says, my sheep listen to my voice. So Christians out there, whose voice are you really listening to? I know one say they listen to the voice of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, or however they want to characterize it. But clearly it says that my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. Now notice, people say they follow Jesus, but they're not like Christians, but they tend to follow, you know, like the sheep, other Christians, like the circle walkers. You know what I mean? He says, I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me, you know, you know, you, you, you know, his father, all y'all who talk about Jesus, you, do you know his father? Because it seems like a lot of them forget about his father. They even talk a lot about his, his mother, but they forget about his father. Like the father always seems to get, is, is, is the heavenly father a deadbeat father? I know some people are going to be upset when I just said that right there. You know what I mean? But I'm talking about how they treat the words of Yeshua. Could they say that his his sheep, you know what I mean? But his sheep would would he allow his sheep to walk in the circle? And where where is he? Right? He says his sheep hear his voice. My father who has given them to me. Uh oh, wait, hold on for a moment. It says my father who has given them to me. I thought the sheep can the sheep just say I, I want to follow. I want Yeshua to be my shepherd. It said here it says that the father is given to the son these sheep. You know what I'm saying? People seem to have a relation with Jesus that doesn't have anything to do with the Father. You know, I mean? you know what I'm saying? It's like they have a relationship with Jesus, but what about the Father? Here says, my Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. And then she says, I and the Father are one. Now people say, see that part there? And they forget about the Father. They just get, they're Jesus, 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 Jesus. But they forget, but they forget. Um, two in one and one in two is like they totally take take the son as the father. Ah, thank you. You said it much much direct. And Boom. That is, and that is not the you know the case. I don't I don't see how people even interpret that from reading the book. So that means you know? those who do that are really not his sheep. Because remember, he says that his father has given him those sheep. You know what I'm saying? It's not Jesus even making them. You know, Jesus doesn't make them his sheep. He says his father has given them to him. I mean, they are one because they are one frequency. Let's put it like that. They're one frequency. They're one consciousness. We could say they're one vibration. You know what I mean? 
you know, they're one vibration. Like, like I and my brother, you know, is one. But it doesn't mean that, you know, he doesn't think and do and act, you know, and I might be dependent on his action. Here, the son is saying, Yeshua is saying, Jesus is saying that he's dependent on that first action of the father who has given these sheep to him. I, I just want to distinguish, because people often take these things too generally. You know what I mean? You know, they generalize it and they kind of miss, you know what I mean? They kind of miss the main, you know, the main, you know, the main point, you know, they, they miss the main point. Here's Ezekiel 34. The Bible, what does the Bible say about scattering the sheep? For, for this is what the sovereign Jehovah Lord says, I myself will search for my sheep. Hold on for a moment. This is Old Testament, Ezekiel chapter 34. Right, Adonai, Yahweh, he says that I myself will search for sheep. He said, my, I'm going to search for sheep. I'm going to search for my sheep. My sheep. See, see that possessing, like, like, you know, if I say, oh, wife, right? If I say wife, yo, 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 I, I want to, you know, go and smash wife. You know, you might think, like, I mean, I say I'm sitting in your house, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Whose wife are you speaking about? Now, if you said my wife, oh, 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 yeah, 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 do that. You know what I mean? So I want to point out the, the possession. See, the whole possession of being one of Yeshua's sheep means that the father has to approve of it first and foremost, right? And if he's found you, that's because you're his sheep. Now, people say that they found the Lord. You, you hear people talk about they found Jesus? <laughs> well, look at this way. <laughs> if the sheep pick a shepherd, right? Mm. You end up in circles like them sheep in China, right? Woo! And when they come to an end, the sheep they're following going to take off the cloak and they're going to realize it's a wolf. Mm. And they're going to realize that they're in a wolf then. Mm. But what you what you said, what you said, you said if the sheep choose his own shepherd. Wow. You get that right there? Because in the Old Testament, Ezekiel 34, the New Testament, John's Gospel, chapter 10, we see the my sheep. He said, I will search for my sheep. Like if I say, I, I'm looking for your wife, you know, you'd be like, what? What? You know what I'm saying? Now, if I say, I'm looking for my wife, perfectly right and accurate, you know what I'm saying? So when he says he will search for my sheep, I'm basically saying that one's a, you had to check if you, if you walk in the circle. <laughs> you know, you know, people say, I found, I, I get what they're saying, but how long do we go along with what people are saying before we reprove them? Like, like the Bible says, thou should not hate your brother in your heart. You show in any wise, reprove him, correct him. So I hear, you know, Christians or believers, fellow believers saying things like they found the Lord, like the Lord was lost. Stop it. Stop it. Come on. Now, I know we've been saying this and people have been saying this for in America and Western whitewashed Christianity been saying this for like, I don't know, for, for, for decades, for generations. But it's wrong. Shouldn't it be that the Lord found me? You know what I mean? Because he said, I myself will search for my sheep and look after them. As a shepherd looks after his scattered flock when he is with them, so will I look after my sheep. So he says it twice, my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places where they were scattered on the day of clouds and darkness. I, you know, I wanted to say something about, or oh, if they're walking around in a circle to no purpose, you know what I mean? But yeah, circling disease. Okay, here's a treatment, bro. Treatment with high dosages of anti-microbials. Micro, I even have to break down that word. Go slow. Anti-microbials. Anti-microbials. So high dosage of anti-microbials may be effective if given early in the course of infection. Listeriosis is a sporadic bacterial infection that affects a wide range of animals, including humans and birds. Uh-oh. This is on this is on Miss 
um, the vet or MS, the MSD vet manual dot com listeriosis in animals generalized conditions wow so th so bro you remember how they had that what's what's that thing they had come out of china bird flu yeah one flew over the cuckoo's nest bird flu so this this could be a, the next the next um i don't want to say it but cv19 you know what i mean uh, and they're gonna release that um they release a new virus and blame the sheep it could be the other one was monkey. They were talking about the they were talking about the, the monkey they, and, and 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 yeah, but 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 you was right, man. I was thinking that if this is in animals, then there, there can be some way of this becoming contagious to people. So you gonna have your listeriosis vaccine? They say you are what you eat. I mean, I mean, I mean these these sheep are obviously for food, right? I would assume so. Or or. or they might make um, wool or, or like, like, you know, wool out of it. And then since China does a lot of business, you know what I'm saying? You, you see what I'm trying uh, to put together. Exactly. So, so the way it's becoming, remember Revelation talked a lot about pestilences. I noticed that. And it seems like every pestilence before it gets released, according to the Bible, Revelation, it has to go before the one who sits on the throne. Right, which is interpreted as God, you know, God the Father, you know, or Jesus and God and God and Jesus, two and one, you know, one and two, you know what I'm saying? That that before any of these, the angels have all these vials, you know what I mean? Every time I hear that word vial, I, I have to say crack vials, right? He has all these spiritual crack vials, right, of all these diseases and pestilences. And before they can get released, it's like, it's like the one who sits on the throne has to kind of say, yeah, do it or don't do it. Because the revelation said, don't harm the trees. You know what I mean? Don't harm this. Don't harm that. You know, so it has to get the permission. So looking at these viruses that have been coming out from the ones that have already come out with the connection of the animals, this might be like a public warning if you think about it. I mean, in more ways than one. Like we've been looking at, you know, the, the biblical spiritual sign, looking at some of the science of it. But let's look at the danger aspect because the revelation aspect. Remember, revelation as Brother Elijah, heal up Elijah, Ross Elijah, Tafari, that revelation, as well as some other areas of the scripture, is not written in chronological order. It's written in, in like a theme. It's like a code. It's like a code. It's not written in chronological. So in revelation, some things actually are written in a, what do you call a chiasm? It's like almost backward. But if you look at the whole text, it looks like a pattern. It, you, you know, like you know, like somebody DJing or a rapper. Yeah. You know, it's like you could rap and you can talk about like how you got here, but then you can then rap about how you, you can rap it backwards. Not talking backwards, but you can talk the events. You know, almost like looking at a videotape yeah. and when they rewind it. So that's how revelation is. Revelation is like in some parts it goes forward to a certain point and then it kind of re rewinds so if you're looking at the text and how the words are lined up it looks like a v pattern so in a sense it creates like kind of a v patterns you know what i mean it creates certain pattern in the text so some things when people look in revelation some things actually happen in a re are written in a reverse order if, if you over that might explain no, 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 because even before he pointed that out I didn't realize it until he pointed out, but when I, because I've read Revelation many times, it's, it's probably the book I've read the most, besides Job. And I noticed while reading, like, you know, like, like, like while reading like, like Revelation, it's more like quotes, you know? Hmm, that would be the cipher, yeah. Yeah, it's more like codes, you know, because you'd read chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and it doesn't seem to connect, you know, in, in like in a book format, like as a story going, like, you know, like somebody telling a story, which most of the, you know, the chapters are basically stories and events that take place that you can follow. Mm, mm, mm. In Revelation, it doesn't flow like that to where you can follow a certain story. In fact, it's more like warnings and, and you know, 
yeah it looks it looks a little sporadic on a, some level but i'm gonna actually share uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to find it again but one had peeped me to this thing called a chiasm and it's almost like where the same event is spoken about again but in a reverse order you know what i mean or like a different right. order right or the same event is spoken about using a different word almost like me giving you an example and i'm using two different examples but i'm talking about the same thing you know, you know that way like you could speak to somebody and give them two different examples but it's not the example itself right but it's you're trying to peep them the sense of it you're trying to give them the sense of it so the the, the thing itself is something other than the examples that's what a lot of people don't recognize many times the thing itself is not literally the example that's given you know like you know like there's there's metaphors I was hearing one talk about like where it says that and the sky opened up and they were interpreting that literally you know what I mean <laughs> it reminded me when Jesus told his disciples when you go to this Jewish feast don't um, beware of the leaven you know the yeast beware of the yeast of the Pharisees of the religious teachers what he was talking about is how the like even the Christian preachers puff up how they puff up their sermon you know what I mean? You know, it. You know, like the dough. You know, like it's. It's like, like almost like um, like, like you ever eat some bread that sometimes is hollow, that has hollow places in it because it's so like fluffy, it's kind of hollow. So he said he told them beware of the leaven of the Pharisees. So they went off to the feast. They came back. Yeshua is looking. Rabboni is looking at their faces. They look all like sad face and long face. He's like, what's up? You know, like how. Yeah, they said they didn't eat nothing. They didn't eat no bread. And he's like, why didn't you eat no bread? You know, it seemed like Yeshua liked to, you know, according to the testimony, he liked to eat. You know, he liked to, you know, he, he's a real man. You know what I mean? He liked to have a good time and eat and teach and reason and just vibes. And, and he was like, yo, why didn't you eat no bread? He said, because of what you said. Like, what what did I say? He said, you said, beware of the leaven <laughs> of the Pharisees. Right. And he was like, yo, he's like, don't you understand what, what I it's, it's like you're giving something in 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 a code. Like I say, I remember when a Rasta man first said to me, yeah, I and I was agitated in I and I heavens. I was like, heavens, you know, what I mean, yeah. you know, but you no, know, he said in his heavens. Yeah, exactly. Or something one, one might even say in the heavens. Did that mean that man went up to the sky? You know, like when they talk about, it, it, yeah, so some people, and, and I heard these Christian sisters say this, they were looking, they are expecting, right? They're offended when this black guy, this black man call himself Christ or whatever, right? And I'm not saying they should or shouldn't, they basically call him out as the antichrist and all this, right? And you got these followers, right? But, but they're really expecting that Christ, when he returned, they're going to be some sign up in the sky. Now, 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 this is interesting, because if he comes, he may he have to come from the, from the equator, right? According to the ball philosophy, <laughs> I know we're not talking about that here, but according to the ball philosophy, you know, like when the sun is shining on this part of the earth, as they tell us in the in the global um, uh, ism schism, the global the globalum, as they tell in globalum, they say that you know the sun, I mean, the earth is a ball. But when the sun is shining on this side, like when the sun rises over here. So how would it be possible on a ball earth? Right? According to that idea, for everybody on the earth to see him at one and the same time. I'm not saying it's not possible. I know with the Almighty all things are possible. But you think like after he created everything? You should just think about it. That's all. Yeah, yeah. After he created everything, he's going to break his law. To, to to make it happen the way you want to believe it's going to happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's going to break all his law, right? Just so 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 that I, I preached it in his name. Remember when the, the, I love the part where he said, many shall come in my name. It, like he says uh, about um, they shall say, uh, like, Lord, Lord, haven't we done all these things? And that the Lord will say to them. Yeah, and notice what they did. They heal people. You know, they, you know, they heal the sick. They, they did a lot of nice things, man. You know, right here. Yeah, 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 right here. Then Yeshua said to them, take heed 
and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. That's Matthew 16 and 6. The leaven. And leaven, for all ones that don't know, zume is basically like yeast. Right? This fermentation and what's causing it to ferment. And then when they came back in 1611, oh wow, that, this is beautiful. Matthew 1611. <laughs> like the King James 1611 version. 1611, yeah. Matthew chapter 16, verse 11 says, How is it that y'all or yous do not understand that I spake it not to you concerning the bread? that ye, y'all, should beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. So, so they went to the feast and literally they ate nothing. So it's like Christians today that literally think that Christ is going to return by cracking the sky or from the sky based on their interpretations or misinterpretations of a couple of key verses you know, in Revelation and also in Acts, you know, like when he went up into the heavens, when he ascended and it said in like manner, right, that, that he shall come in like manner. <laughs> and they think that like manner means the mode, you know, but like manner it, from, from even the Greek, it means like he uses the same idea earlier, right, about like 45 days. 45 days before he talks about, before they talk about like in like manner, he uses the same thing when he talks about, what's the chickens? What's that verse in the chickens? Matthew 23, 37. How oft I wanted to gather your children together as a hen. So the words as a hen, that in the, in the Greek is hon tropos. Hon tropos mean like in like manner. In the same way as a hen gathers her chicken under her wings, I wanted to gather your children together. Does this have anything to do with the chickens? It's just saying that just as a, a mother hen would gather her chicks, this is the same way that, that Yeshua, right, in the first advent wanted to gather his people together. You know what I'm saying? So in the same way that he uses that, but my point basically is that, you know, not everything is to be taken literally in the scripture. That's like when, when, when Jesus said, this is my blood, drink. And these people, centuries, thinking that they're supposed to be drinking blood. Or, 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 or some cannibalism. Yeah. But we know the first use, I looked up that verse in the Bible about the whole thing about the blood thing. And here's what's interesting, brother. It's like if you go to um, the first use I see of blood, right, in this kind of a sense and drinking, right, is the, it's called blood of grapes. Blood of grapes. If you go to Genesis, it was a blessing given to um, Judah. Where it says, in, in this is another 11 verse. I don't know what's up with the number 11. Genesis 49, 11. It says, binding his fall to the vine and his ass's coat to the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine and his clothes in the blood of grapes. Over oh, that right there? The right. blood of grapes. Does this mean that the grapes are bleeding or that we're supposed to be drinking blood? But it's the way people talk, man. Something I remember Christ said to one, one of them, he said, you don't understand what I'm saying because you're not my people. In other words, they're not his sheep. You don't get what I'm saying because it's not meant for you. <laughs> you know what I mean? The blood of grapes. So when he says, this is my blood, he could have said, this is my grapes. But you know what I think it is? It's sometimes you speak that way to discern, like to, to, to weed out. You want to weed out the stupid folk. I mean, the, the, the long and short of the Israelites wandering in the wilderness for 40 years, because, it was... Because the, blood, blood in itself is something that stains very bad. And red wine is the same way. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm-hmm. Red wine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Washes. Now, now does it mean that he literally... No, no. Let's look at that verse in Genesis, right? The very first book of the Bible. Does that mean that he literally um, would, would be washing, like, you know, you go to the laundry and you take a bottle of grape juice or something like that? 
and you have some white garments or whatever the color they are, and you pour it in your t-shirts or whatever. <laughs> Does that mean you literally? You, you, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's it's that's the whole thing. The 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 what's this? The 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 she goat has the the good of truth, the good of understanding. You know what I mean? What good is it if ones don't have any understanding? You know what I mean? You know, you know, you know, you know, when Christ said, how long have y'all been with me? You remember, it's like when Thomas had asked the question he asked, like, how long have y'all been with me? And y'all don't really get and understand what I'm saying. That must be. I don't think think it's Thomas that asked that question. I can't remember who asked that question, but it wasn't Thomas. Because I remember he got frustrated and he pulled Thomas aside and told Thomas to write down these sayings. So it couldn't have been Thomas that asked him that question. Because his frustration would have made it to get somebody else to write it down. No, uh, okay, hold on for a moment. Hold on for a moment. I, 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 I don't think it's Thomas that asked. I might be wrong, but I, from, my, like, from my recollection, it wasn't Thomas. It was somebody else that asked that question. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to search these key words right here. Give things. Iron, sharpen, iron. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look up how long, and I'm going to look up understand. Understand, right? How long, how long, and understand. Like, like, okay, how, like, it's how long and you have not understand, um, yeah, what, what, what I said, these things, is it, is it these things, okay, let me look up right here, yeah, yeah, it might not have been, I may be I right. remember, I think the, 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 the two he had the most patience with, I think, was Thomas and James and you know what I do? I, I, I do what most ones do because behind the scenes here, I'm just juggling a few things right here. So let me just look up. Um, um, how long have I been with you, Bible? No, it, it doesn't. No, no. Okay, okay I'm, I'm recording on the same machine right here. Bible. Um, like, yeah, well. Oh, okay. I remember the scene now. I remember the scene. I remember the scene. Let me get my hard copy. Sometimes, sometimes we use the technology and we have to go, you know, we have to go old school. Old school. Really? We have to go old school, like, like not depend on the computer, you know, yeah, to do, yeah, to do everything right here, here, here. Let me, um, let me, I'll put that right there on what you call them. Hold on for a moment. Yeah, 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 bro. Well, well this one right here on the, on, on, on the sheep, on the sheep, this, this is, this is, Wow. This is a very interesting sign of the time, you know, sign of the time, you know, um, very interesting sign of the time. Uh, 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 hold right here for Give thanks, give thanks. This, this proves the principle of iron sharpening. Iron, give thanks for I see more. The eye is right and accurate. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't Thomas. Sorry, brother Thomas. You know, it was actually Philip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew that. I didn't want to say that before, but yeah, yeah. I said, "Well, if Thomas is his boy, then you know, then you know, his, then then he's gonna know that right there." John fourteen eight. It says, "Philip saith to him, Lord, um, shew us the Father, and it sufficeth us." And Yeshua said to him, "Yeah, have I been?" so long that's why i was remembering so long time with you and yet thou hast not known me philip asks a question he that have seen me have seen the father and how sayest thou then shew us the father okay yeah yeah that was philip philip the baptizer of the of the kushi you know the kushi official the ethiopian um yehudi you know, the Ethiopian black Jew that was going to worship, you know what I mean, in Jerusalem <laughs> during the high holidays. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. Think, give thanks. Give thanks, bro. Give thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Philip, Philip, no, it was Thomas. Thomas was the one about show, you know, like, like he, he wanted to see what everybody else had seen, right? He, he's like, how come others can see it? You know what I mean? It's like, you know, y'all saw it and you're testifying. I don't want to just testify. <laughs> I want to see it too. I got to see it too, right there. You know, yeah. So, so, and, and the Bible doesn't call him doubting. 
No, there's a narrative out there that they call him Doubting Thomas. And when I heard this narrative, I tried to figure out why they call him Doubting Thomas. No, no, they're hating I on him. I put myself in his shoes. And when I put myself in his shoes, I'd have asked the same question. I'd have wanted to do the same thing I'd have with him. Now they're hating. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just like when I grew up, right? We used to cook in the bush all the time. Don't come tell me we that I uh, cook in the bush today. How come nobody come tell me? How come I wasn't there? Mm, mm. I, yeah, I want to be there. This is something we do all the time together. We always forget to doing these things. How are you going to help me? And nobody come tell me. That's true. They make it seem like the master rebuked him, but the master just just reasoned with him. He didn't rebuke him. You know, uh, he made a point that others, he's not going to repeat this for everyone, just for them to accept. But you use Thomas as an example, you know what I mean? That those who haven't seen and can have faith. But Thomas was a part of the crew, yeah. Thomas, exactly. he was a part of, like, like everyone said that they seen something and I didn't see it. That means if I testify, I'll be like a liar. You know what I mean? That's why I like to say it is written or as it's written and so it says. And I'll tell you whether I ascribe to it or not. But sometimes people talk about things like they were actually there. <laughs> You know what I mean? And and I, I can't say that, you know, with you know, and, and be true in the spirit. You know, you know, be true in the in the spirit, you know. But I can say that as it's written, you know, either so I accept it to be true or if I don't accept it, you know, I might need to I might need to have a sign, you know, a sign to I. But yes, my brother, um check it, check it, check it right here, here, here. I you know, there's more on this subject, man. I know we was reasoning on a few things, but I like how they're always the just vibes. And it's always like, you know, inter, interconnected. You know what I mean? It's always like there's like a pattern, you know? Yeah. <laughs> there's a pattern to these things right here, you know? Um, yeah, bro, I'm going to seal up right here just, just for the moment right here. You know, it's pushing into the early hours right here. But I am loving this reason, man, and definitely going to meddy on it. But any... Any like seal up words for the peeps, for the people? Yeah, man, and we just got to, as you know, as people, we just have to really pay attention to, you know, like the signs of nature itself. You know what, you know what's going on on the art itself. You know how the art is reacting. You know, and the things that are happening. We have to pay attention to these things and follow your your natural intuition because he say he gonna write the goodness in our hearts you know so we you know so we know how to follow goodness we know what the good frequency and good vibrations is to follow in life because we have felt them our whole life so we know them so when those who are following false doctrines and walking in circles like these sheep we need to stand aside and get out of the way because they ain't gonna see the father and they ain't gonna hear his voice so don't get caught up in it Mm, mm. Careful of what we follow, careful of what we listen to. You know, there's a a, um, a reggae artist in the um, Virgin Islands named Ancient King. I have an album out right now, but this is not about his album, it's about an interview I hear him had some years ago. And he said something I never forget. He said there's a 50 50 proposition inside your head. He said, You have a mouth and you have ears, so be careful of what comes out of your mouth and be careful of what you let into your ears. Hmm. Facts. Give thanks, yes. You know, so mm. let's balance these things and choose righteousness every time. Right choiceness. Hmm. Hmm. Guidance and protection to everyone. I bless you in the name of his imperial majesty. Exhibit a mile away. I say, I say, I say, Ja, Rastafari. Yes, I. Yes, I. Be the lion, the lion of Judah among the sheep. Yes, I. Shepherd them righteously. Rastafari. Yes, I. Give thanks. Give thanks, Brother King. Yes, I. Aye, aye. Aye, aye. Rastafari.